In this edition of INN CEO Talks, I'm joined by Craig Gibson, the president and CEO of Prismo Metals. And we're talking about high-grade silver and gold projects in Mexico. Craig, welcome. How are you doing today, Stuart? I'm doing very well. I'm quite interested to know about uh, the two projects you have going on in Mexico at the moment. But let's start with your Palos Verdes project. Tell us about it. And, uh, and as I understand, you've got some drilling results as well uh, that you'd like to share with us. Yes, Palos Verdes is, is one of our two, two projects. It's a relatively small project, a little bit more advanced, had some drilling in the past. Uh, we have drilled 10 holes there for about 1,000 meters, so very shallow drilling, very high level on an epithermal vein system. And uh, the exciting thing is we have pretty good uh, drill results, high grade silver and gold in the uh, Palos Verdes vein. And the concession is adjacent to a project of Fisla Silver, which is one of the major silver discoveries of the last few years. And we're just starting our uh, third drill program to, to drill underneath what we think is the tip of the iceberg of a potentially major ore, ore body in the, in the uh, Palos Verdes vein. So what was it that was so unique about this property um, that made you focus in on it? Because uh, it, it's been known for quite some time, but you identified that there is a resource. So what were some of those tall tale signs that led well, really, the main thing was the uh, this vein and this concession is in the northeastern part of the district. Uh, the main district has been known for hundreds of years and been mined for hundreds of years. So the uh, the ore shoots were exposed at the surface through erosion. And this vein is a much higher structural elevation and we think has not been eroded as much as the other vein. So, uh, we think there's potentially the entire ore system has been preserved. And that's our goal is to drill underneath this uh, shallow upper level mineralization and, and find the large ore body underneath. So where do you go from here? You had drilling results come in, but now where do you go? What, what's your next step? Right now, we just commenced a uh, phase three program. It's uh, scheduled for about 2000 meters in five to seven holes so we're drilling in the past we drilled holes that were just over you know, around 100 meters in length intersecting the vein maybe 75 meters below the surface and now we're stepping back and drilling underneath those uh, intercepts that we had before up to two three hundred meters deeper where we think the uh, the main ore, ore mineralization would be so you're proving out the resource uh, through this program. Let's assume that you're successful. What are your what are your steps moving forward from there? Well, right now is to make uh, well to confirm our our hypothesis is correct that uh, we do have a major ore system there, which we have all the indications of to date. And then uh, if we're successful in this, it will take some more drilling, and you know we think we'll we'll uh, have a basically an epi a, uh, economically significant uh, vein system that uh, potentially could be put into production or, or uh, sold to, to another uh, group, which uh, is also a possibility. Are you already attracting some interest from some of those groups? Well, we've talked to people over the last uh, couple of years as we've been drilling, but uh, uh, right now we don't have anything signed or, or, uh, or firmed up, but uh, I think people are watching us. It's, uh, you know, our results have uh, speak for themselves, and I think uh, I think there's some eyes on us right now. Uh, as you move forward, do you have the financial resources that you need, or you're going to have to go back to the market and uh, raise a bit more money? Well, right now we have the finances to do the drill program where we have planned. We recently did a financing where uh, the uh, insiders of the company exercise warrants to help finance the company and do this drill program. So right now we're in pretty good shape, but uh, you know, if we're, if we're successful and, uh, and to do other work on other projects, we will need to, to finance later in the year. Well, you mentioned other projects. Your other project is the Los Pavitos uh, uh, property. Tell me a little bit about that property and where you're at. 
Yeah, Los Pavitos, in contrast to, to Palos Verdes, is a much larger concession and earlier stage. So it's uh, 5,300 hectares. It has uh, basically first pass geologic mapping and sampling done on it. What did start interesting about it, it was brought to uh, Dr. Peter Magas' consulting group through one of his colleagues, Rafael Gallardo, who uh, has worked extensively in, in Sonora particularly and recognized uh, by visiting small workings that were being mined by artisanal miners, very high grade gold and narrow veins. But he recognized the, uh, the host rocks of the area are very similar to some of the rocks in Northwest Mexico, where uh, it's, it's the second premier gold producing region uh, in Mexico with uh, many large discoveries over the last probably 20 years or so. So you're an exploration company uh, with a pretty good management team for, you know, at the stage that you're at, this matters to investors. Tell me a little bit about the team. Yes, Prismo Meadows has been around that long. We went, uh, we formed a private company with uh, three of us, three founders in 2019. Uh, they are Dr. Maga, as I said, is one of the uh, most respected and well-known exploration geologists in Mexico, been working down here for about 40 years. Uh, we teamed up with uh, Elaine Lambert, who's a capital market expert, uh, many years of experience in that. We had worked with at a mining venture in Mexico in the past. And myself, I have about uh, 30 years of experience working in Mexico also with uh, uh, several major companies and also my private consulting group for the last 15 years or so. And uh, what about Rafael Gallardo? Uh, he's a member of your team as well, right? Yeah, Rafael is, is part of uh, Peter's uh, consulting group. Uh, he was instrumental in, in identifying the Los Pavitos project. So, and he's also one of the directors of, of uh, Prismo Metals. So he's also a, a very valuable addition to the team. Uh, much of the team is are Mexicans or have extensive experience in Mexico. So for a lot of the viewers of this series, they're always asking the question, okay, why is now the right moment for me to be investing in your company? Well, really it's kind of, as I said before, we're uh, starting a drill program that will uh, hopefully identify a very large ore shoot. We've, uh, as I said, we've, we think we've hit the tip of the iceberg in the, in the mineralization in the Palos Verdes vein, adjacent to a major discovery in, in the same district. So we think this is an excellent time to uh, have an opportunity to have a, a winner on a, a drill program, exploration program. And I can imagine based on where you're at and the drilling program that you have underway, there's gonna be a considerable number of press releases to be watching out for in the coming months. Yes, we have uh, you know, the first hole is about halfway done. So uh, I think uh, within sometime in September, we should have some uh, assay results from that first hole. And we'll be having uh, news releases throughout the drill program and also uh, some work that we've been doing on Los Pavitos. We recently completed a LIDAR survey and having the interpretation of that done. So we'll be having news releases uh, continuously throughout the rest of, the, of this year. I am naively asking you this question right now because um, I wonder, is there a, a finite drilling season in Mexico or can you drill all year long? Uh, really, you can drill all year long, but uh, different regions have different characteristics. For instance, right now it's the, the rainy season in, in uh, Sinaloa and in the, in the Sierra Madre. So uh, we had a little bit of startup issues with a lot of mud and getting our drilling going, but uh, we've overcome that by now. And for instance, in Sonora, even though uh, it's not too bad for raining there, it's, it's very hot right now. So we usually uh, take a break and work in other parts of Mexico until about October. But uh, in general, you can work uh, over most of Mexico for most of the year. It's, it's a very hospitable area to work in. Tell me about Mexico as a mining jurisdiction, because a lot of people may not be aware of, uh, you know, exactly 
how friendly Mexico is to mining? Well, Mexico has hundreds of years of uh, mineral exploration and mining experience and history. So it's it's really a pretty good uh, jurisdiction. The, the mining law is favorable for foreign ownership. Uh, there's the current government has had a few hiccups, but uh, really they haven't changed the mining law or changed the investment climate uh, in any significant way. So I think uh, looking at some of the things that have happened in other countries, Mexico has maintained its it's a favorable climate for investment in mining. Well, this is a good time to be looking at your company, and I, uh, I appreciate your time today. But more importantly, I hope that you're going to come back and give us updates in the, in the near future. Yeah, we plan on it. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Thanks for your time.